Underwater terrain mapping can provide people with detailed underwater terrain information and escort the safety of water engineering. Traditional underwater topographical surveying and mapping requires the use of large ships and is operated by multiple people. So what changes will underwater topographical surveying and mapping have in the unmanned era? This is a new type of unmanned surveying and mapping vessel. It is about 1 meter long and weighs about 7,000 grams. The hull is made of carbon fiber. Small and light, it can be put into the car and is convenient for one person to carry and use. It combines satellite positioning and wireless transmission in one. The user only needs to steer the unmanned ship on the shore to receive the surveying and mapping data, realizing the real intelligence surveying and mapping operation. The sideways components and satellite positioning system of the unmanned ship can obtain underwater high-level data in real time. Through multi-section surface measurement, it is calculated that the underwater terrain covers the blind area of traditional measurement, avoiding missed measurement and supplementary measurement, and the accuracy can reach the centimeter level. Coupled with the small size of the unmanned ship, it can enter and exit the dead corner that the surveying and mapping ship cannot reach. Make the data measurement more convenient and detailed, and finally draw the underwater topographic map through the built-in software. Provide data and maps for the construction of shipping terminals, water conservancy roads and bridges, etc. The unmanned surveying and mapping vessel is equipped with a high power motor with a maximum speed of 8 meters per second, which can not only improve work efficiency but also quickly pass through dangerous waters such as rapids and undercurrents in a straight line. In surveying and mapping, what should the unmanned ship do if it encounters dangerous terrain or poor signal? When the unmanned ship enters the bridge hole with a weak signal, it may encounter the situation of satellite loss. At this time, the inertial navigation function will be turned on, guiding the unmanned ship to move forward calmly according to the original path. Until the satellite signal is received again, the unmanned surveying and mapping ship brings together the intelligent remote control bridge and 5G network communication. The three complementary transmission methods can get rid of the limitation of the signal on the control distance, and the data are stored separately. On PC, cloud and built-in memory to prevent loss of mapping data. The unmanned surveying and mapping vessel has brought the underwater surveying and mapping operation to a new level. It is such a convenient, flexible and safe feature that it can be used in many water projects.